hi friends in this video we will discuss about the methods assignments uh, to do the assignments just open edit plus in edit plus go to the file menu click on new java so here write the assignment i said regarding variables how many assignments we done six assignments done uh, this is assignments regarding methods methods assignment number one so just basic assignment i'll give uh, try to complete the assignment class class name test uh, declare one instance method instance method with arguments i said x class object x x object y y object and integer a value just uh, i'm talking about only arguments so declare one more static method see project level always you have the arguments are object types like request object response object config object like that <coughs> generally in the classroom level in the classroom generally you are passing integers float and double right but project level always you have to work with the object in the course level level just i want to pass x object y object animal object student object once if you know how to pass x object uh, employee object and student object uh, in the project you can pass request object response object right that is the main intention so you can take the static method the static method the arguments are employee i want to take the double d value so take the double d value uh, take one more instance method take one more instance method so take the arguments what are the arguments here just i'm taking character ch so and i'm taking the student s argument right that's it take one more static method with arguments what are the arguments you want the string s equal s comma or uh, the second one is hmm, string s comma i want to pass the float f right that's it just to declare the four methods just declare the four methods with arguments uh, inside the method just to print the confirmation message m1 method m2 method m3 method and just to print the arguments that's it so public static void main <coughs> public static void main you can write the string array args open brace closer brace how many methods you declare total four methods right just uh, call four methods call four methods uh, by passing tell me uh, call four methods by passing by passing just arguments i hope the example is clear right just i said declare the method with these arguments inside the method just print m1 method just print the arguments but to run this application this x is extra classes are actually project level this class it may be same module class or it may be different module classes but to run this application how many extra classes you want x is extra class you want y is extra class you want and uh, employee is extra class and student is extra class total how many extra class you want four extra classes so you have to declare the four extra classes to run this application to run this application right that's all guys uh, guys can please stop the uh, video try to take the pen and paper come try to complete this assignment after completion uh, try to check the assignment just it improves your coding skills yeah, that's it the guys who are fear about the coding uh, you just you can focus in all assignments clear let me write the coding here so class class name test what i said for one instance method void m1 method void m1 method i said m1 method how many arguments uh, x x object uh, y y object so capital y is the class small y is the reference variable i taken the third one is integer argument inside the method what i said just uh, so print uh, print uh, confirmation message this is my m1 method uh, m1 method here just you can print the arguments what are the arguments here uh, three values so x uh, plus some space uh, the first one is x right x plus place uh, plus y so plus uh, some space you can give plus uh, what the value here a value that's it that's all guys the first method is completed first method is completed see here i'm printing the x variable right x is object type right whenever you are printing the object type just you will get the hash codes unique identification number of object hash code that one you will discuss later whatever tell me your second exam second method at least uh, up to this one you can stop the video at least take the remaining point complete the remaining point mm? so the second method is a static method static void m2 method expecting how many arguments mm, tell me expecting how many arguments employee argument and the double d value right that's it so here confirmation message the system dot out dot print enough uh, this is my m2 method right that's it so inside the method just to print the data how to print the data here system dot out dot print enough hmm. system dot out dot print enough here i have to print the e value plus uh, some iphone iphone plus uh, 
plus uh, d value right that's it take the third method i thought i said third method is the instance method in instance method means void m3 method arguments are character ch arguments are character ch but next argument is student yes just you can pass the values you just you can print the message uh, system dot out dot print now this is my m3 method what are the arguments here you have to print here ch is the value here you have to print the s value right that's it you can think of the last method what is the last method static method so you can declare the static void and the name is called m4 inside the method how many arguments two arguments one is a string argument one is the float argument the string str comma or second argument here float f argument right that's it so here just you can print the data this is my which method here m4 method you have to print this is my str value this is my f value right that's it i hope this example is clear just this are called declaration here let me declare the main method in, let me copy this code let me place in the new file here i want run this code okay i think four methods are clear right instance method static method instance method and static method clear that's it so here you can declare main method for syntax of main method public static void main uh, you can write the string array args just how many methods you declared here total four methods right just to call the four methods what is the first method here m1 m1 is instance of static i say two points always always access the instance by using object access the static by using class name now m1 is instance of static instance access by using object right test to t equal new test of so t dot m1 method first of all can you please declare the extra classes here extra class means declare outside of test class here what are the extra classes here x is extra class to run this application y is extra class to run this application class x class y class employee is also extra class to run this application class student is also extra class to run this application right so how many extra classes required four those four i declared then here i would like to call t dot m1 now tell me t dot m1 m1 is expecting how many arguments expecting how many three arguments what the first one x object x is a normal type or class type here x is a class type right if it is a class type first of all you have to create the object of x class just here you can pass x object the order of arguments also important here first you have to pass x second you have to pass y third one you have to pass integer so i am passing first argument here what the second argument here y then you have to create the object of y y y equal new y so one student is asking one question here the answer here y is there here i are passing y this y y you can have the same names or you can pass different names also you can pass different names also no problem see you can pass name names are not important type is important y1 is which type which type y class type right here y is which type y class type right yes or no y is which type y class type or not that's not a problem so the conclusion is variable names are not important here types are important okay the third one is which argument here integer just you can pass the integer argument that's all guys first argument x object second argument y1 object third object third argument is a integer object that means sir i want to call m2 now tell me here m2 is instance of static hmm m2 is instance of static m2 is a static right to call the test static test dot m2 now m2 expecting how many arguments two arguments one is employee one is a double employee is normal type or class type here normal field a class field a class field as you know class field means you have to create the object employee e equal new employee hmm, tell me here you can pass the e see expecting the class type means just you have to create the object just you have to pass that object that's it what a second argument here second argument double right double means simply how to pass some 10.5 10.6 like this that's it second method is done clear right what about third method here third method is instance of static in instance in instance means already object is there right t object access by using object t dot m3 but m3 expecting how many arguments two arguments what is the first argument character comma what is second argument student right student is normal field or class field Hmm. Normal field, class field, class field. Class field means what we have to do. We have to create the object. Student s equal to new student of. Here we have to pass s object. That's it. Then I would like to call fourth method. 
फोर्थ में दूसरे में दरियार इंस्टेंस ऑफ स्टैटिका फोर्थ में दरी इंस्टेंस ऑफ स्टैटिका इंस्टेंस राइट सॉरी सॉरी स्टैटिक राइट हाउ टू कलर स्टैटिक बाय यूजिंग क्लास नेम टेस्ट टू डाटा मैं द नेम इस कॉल्ड एम फोर ना एम फोर इज एक्सपेक्टिंग हाउ मेनी आर्गुमेंट्स टू आर्गुमेंट्स द फर्स्ट इज अ स्ट्रिंग आर्गुमेंट कॉमा व्हाट अ सेकंड आर्गुमेंट यार सेकंड आर्गुमेंट इज अ फ्लोट टाइप राइट फ्लोट मींस वी हैव टू पास द सम पॉइंट वैल्यूज 10.5 बट टेल मी यार 20.5 बाय डिफॉल्ट फ्लोट वैल्यू यार इट इज डबल वैल्यू आई सेड इन जावा द डेसिमल वैल्यू सर बाय डिफॉल्ट हम डेसिमल वैल्यू सर बाय डिफॉल्ट डबल टाइप राइट सो 20.5 बाय डिफॉल्ट डबल टाइप then how to represent the 20.5 as a float type uh, just we have to pass f constant you have to pass which constant here f constant that's all guys so this is a way slowly we can do the assignments here we will get the more clarity x class y class hmm? x class y class employee class student these are extra classes project level these classes it may be same model class or different model classes i hope example is clear right just to declare the what are the methods you want just to call those methods while calling the methods the method is expecting some arguments just you have to pass that arguments right you have to pass that argument so can please save this application so how to save it here just to control s you can use it uh, just you can use control s let me save it the application name is called test.java okay so command prompt <coughs> local disk e Uh, where is my application in local disk e right uh, just you can compile it local disk e so what the come how to compile here java c uh, java c the application name is called test dot java right test dot java then how to execute here why how to execute uh, to execute the file java the class name is called test class right that's all then you'll get the output like this Clear? Huh? That's all, guys. So, M1 method corresponding arguments. What are the arguments here? X at the red hash code, Y at the red hash code. This is the 10 value. The second method is M2 method. M2 method with arguments hash code 10.6. M3 method hash code. See, in entire Java, whenever you are printing the reference variable, simply you will get the hash codes, right? That's all, guys. So clear? Huh? So this is all about assignments, guys. Okay, so previously variables we done six assignments. You can check it out. Hmm? So thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, can please like the video and uh, subscribe to our channel. Get the more updations. Hmm? Thank you guys. Bye.